Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So finally getting around to it. I apologize for waiting so long, but um, I've had requested to do a video about how to uh, make a video. So we're doing a competition at the moment in this month, which is June 2018, to make a 30 second um, video of some low flying in DCS. And uh, I said I would do a help video to help show how to do it, so I'm here to do it. Uh, so uh, I couldn't think how to make this video, so what I've decided to do is just make my own 30 second, 30 second low flying video. I'll show you how, I'd, how I do it. If you can learn anything from that, great. If you can already do all that stuff, then that's great. That's fine. Yeah, so I've got to say before I get started, uh, I made a bit of an error when doing the competition. Um, I said that GRR giving the prizes out which are six DCS modules it's not actually us giving them out it's Eagle Dynamics that are giving them out we GR are just doing uh, the competition basically uh, running the competition right anyway let's get cracking so I want to make a low flying video 30 seconds long what am I going to do well there's various ways I can do it but me being me I'm just first thing I'm going to do is go over to the mission editor I'm going to go new I'm going to go on Persian Gulf just because meh why not Okay, we're here on the Persian Gulf. Uh, so where am I going to do my low flying? Well, how about, where's the Wiz Khalifa or whatever it's called? It's in here somewhere, isn't it? So how about we splunk an aeroplane down here? So click on aeroplane. Take a note of the altitude, which is there. It's basically on the deck. So put my aeroplane there. Over here, let's make it a uh, F-18, because everyone likes their F-18s at the moment. Skill, client, so that we can drive it. I would want to set its altitude to 500 feet. We want to add a waypoint so it initially faces that way. We want to go here, payload, and click uh, a paint scheme for it. Let's have it Red Devils Phantom Chaos. Why not? Uh, and that is, I think, everything. Uh, so now let's go to save up here. Let's save that file as. Let's just save it as test. Yeah, that'll do the job. Okay. Then we're going to click escape out of the mission editor and this is the only way I can get the replays to work. Uh, so unless you know better, uh, this is the way I think you should do it. This was the only way I know to get this to work. So I'm going to go to multiplayer there, look. I'm going to go to new server. Okay, we are going to make it a private server by getting rid of the public. In fact, it doesn't matter as long as you put a password up here, that's fine. We're going to select a mission by pressing plus there. We're going to press test. Okay, that's the one we just made. Click on it to make sure it's highlighted and start her up. Um, so for when I do my, if I run single player missions, it doesn't save a track file for me, which is a replay file. Um, it may just be bugged, I don't know. So I have to do it multiplayer like this. You may be able to do it on a single player. If so, then good job for you. I'm going to be my aeroplane there. I'm going to go briefing, fly, Let it unpaused and burn us on and off we toot. Now, um, you always want to record more material than you're going to use in the final video. So if I'm making an hour long Grim Reapers video, I want to get three, at least three or four hours worth of filming material to be able to make that video. Mm, probably more, more like five or six hours actually. Um, the reason is the majority of the stuff that you film is just uh, rubbish that goes in the bin. About, I don't know, 10 to 20 percent or so actually will make it into a final video. So if we want a 30 second video at the end, let's record uh, kind of two or three minutes. Let's go. So the next thing to do is screen capture software. So there are, well, there's numerous options, but the two that I would suggest are one is OBS. I use that open broadcast software. Just search that on Google and you'll come straight to it. But don't use Google. Google is evil. Use something else. Uh, and you'll come straight to it um, and download that. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to use it because that will be for another video. But you can use that screen capture software and it's perfectly good and efficient. Uh, there's a second you can do called Shadow Play if you own a graphics card that is an NVIDIA graphics card and is relatively modern it will have inbuilt into it something called Shadow Play. you need to install if you haven't already got it the NVIDIA experience I think it's called you have probably already got it installed if you've got that graphic a graphics card mm. from there you can run shadow you can set up and run Shadow Play again I won't show the setup because we just don't really have time at the moment but it's all relatively easy uh, so you can use either Shadow Play capture the software or OBS each is as good as the other I use both of them for different circumstances but it's just personal preference there are other things like fraps 
which is the best one but you have to pay money for that so uh, you know you have to be a professional if you want to use stuff like that oh uh, that's my only advice there I'm going to use shadow play simply because I'm set up here and I'm ready to use it Ah, oh, I should say at this point you can do fancy external views in their flight, like you can do F2, does that, F3, does that, F4, does that, and so, and so on. Uh, you don't want to do that for the actual uh, flying, you just want to be in the cockpit. So just in the cockpit for the time being, please. Altitude. Altitude. So let's say I want to come into the Khalifa supersonic. There we go, so the film will effectively start about here. And up to the Khalifa. G limit draw. Right, so that is our low flight finish. Hopefully that's enough material. So next we are going to escape. Right, exit, and now we're going to go to a replay. This is where our actual filming work gets done. So when we're, there it is, it's the most recent one, uh, with today's date on. When we're making a uh, Grim Reaper's video, all of the filming is actually done from the replay, rather than the actual mission itself. And then I overlay, I record the voices of everyone talking, and I overlay the voices on top of the video. Uh, right, takes hours but that's just the way you have to do it so we're actually in, re in a replay now I'm not going to be flying this jet but uh, if I pressed on pause that jet there it is me flying but it's the replay from before so stand by uh, now what we've got is um, a series of views that we can use we can if we press the F2 we can come out like this we can use our mouse to move around zoom in zoom out and that will be linked to the fighter like so if we press left alt and f2 then our focal point stays where it is but our lens direction changes so if you wanted that kind of shot where we've got 90 or 80 percent terrain and only 20 percent um aircraft you can do that kind of shot and that will be linked and, and hard linked so if you played it now have it like that and you can use get some really cool cinematic shots with just the aircraft in the corner like that and then the rest be terrain uh, so I'm going to press Alt F2 just to unlock that because that's getting annoying now. So press Alt F2 again and you're back to the other style where you're um, keeping the focal point in the centre of the plane but you're rotating the camera. Okay. Next is F3, that is a simple flyby so I press F3, unpause. Like so, um, F4 does this so that we've got it planted on our wing and you can fly around like that and you can move it around put the camera wherever you want so if i wanted the camera there i'm using my mouse at the moment by the way if you wanted the camera there poking at my eye you can get some really cool cinematic shots like that a little less plain never want more than 50 percent plain in the shot uh something like that let's try that pretty cool right uh, that was F4, F5 doesn't do anything that I know of, F6, F7, none of them do anything that I know of. If you know any more, let me know. Um, so that's that. So those are my views that I use. And you can also press F1 and you can't control the plane, but you can view the plane from inside as you are flying it. Okay. Um, what else have we got? Ah, advanced. Uh, F11, right. So if, t so if you want a shot from the ground... Uh, I like these, they can be cinematic, then, sorry, I should say I pressed F2 to get out of here, I scrolled out with the mouse, I plonk it somewhere roughly where the plane is going to uh, fly over, left control, F11, does free cam, so this is now a free camera, it's not linked to anything, you move it around with the mouse, and unpause, 
There he is. Meow. Pretty cool, right? Uh, and those are all of the camera options. Right, so now I'm going to have to stop talking now because I have to actually do the filming. So stand by as I just get some shots how I would do this video. Stand by. Just gone supersonic, I think. Oh, I was flying low, look. Ooh, nice. That's going to be a lovely shot. No. It's going to whip right over my head at max speed, that is, Freddy. Can be very difficult to f when they're going this fast. It can be really hard to to get them. Last lost it. We always want to contrast moving shots with static shots. So just in a just in a static shot there, um, so you've got an idea of how it looks on the ground. Then you immediately want to get. Uh, um, uh, uh, sorry, that was a moving shot where I was moving the camera. Now you immediately want a static shot where the aircraft is staying still and the land is moving to get that contrast. So when you're making a movie, it's all about getting contrast between fast moving things, slow moving things. Um, if everything's always fast moving, like the camera's always shifting left and right all the time. Uh, it's just it's just bad video basically so all right we're now coming to the end of the video something different something uh, what can we do this different I kind of really like that scenery in the background, so I really want to get that scenery and just a little bit of plane. So let's see what we can do. Let's do an OF2 now. Almost something like that. So the plane is now secondary, Khalifa is now primary. Let's see how that works. Oh, and I'm going to jam right through the middle here, look. So, uh, right, I've got to reset my F2 because I've cocked that up now, haven't I? So let's put that back. Okay, let's blast him back out. So what's the best way we're going to film this? Mm, probably just like that. It's going to whip over really fast and then wow, over that shoulder like that. And then so that's a panning shot immediately over to a static shot something so I can see it clipping that building something like that shouldn't whip the head back there that was a mistake but never mind uh, right so now something I think really showing the size of the tower so something maybe I don't want too much background here so I want something more like that how about that that showed the size of the tower and I want to jump onto the tower so but I don't want to get lost around the side of the tower so how's the best way of doing this possibly on that gantry using the mouse to scroll onto that gantry can be a little bit 
Fiddly. You have to look behind yourself and all over the place. Ah, I can't do it. Something like that. So it's going to be a real quick shot. This one is going to whip right off the screen. And let's put a bit of tilt in there. Ah, oh, cocked it up. And that's normal. Um, I forgot to uh, go to free cam. So I've just lost all of that lovely footage. Never mind, this is uh, very normal stuff for me. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to jump to a shot like this. Free cam on. I have to whip the head up now to follow that. Now we're static. Camera, so something like this. A bit closer in. Really see down that engine intake. That feels good. Ready and maybe a final one from down here. Blast. A bit tough on this is. Really want one looking up the s up the kind of steeple. Like that kind of thing, like whoa. It can be extremely finicky to get these shots, just gotta have to suck it up. Right, there it is. Oh, where's the bloody plane gone? There it is, there it is. So what we'll do, this will be a zoom shot. I don't use zoom shots very often, only takeoffs and stuff like that they need. Free cam on. So I'm gonna start zoomed out like this so you get the idea of the size of the tower. I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna pause and then zoom in. And it'll zoom in up the kind of up the tower, so There we go. Right, we are now in our video editing software. We are loading our file in that we recorded. If you remember from the replay, we were screen capturing that and recording that. I think that's the right one. Uh, so here is my file. I'm using VideoPad Professional by NCH Software. Is it particularly good for DCS? I haven't got a clue to be honest. It's just something I've used for years and years, even before DCS, just, just what I'm used to using. Um, I don't really have any uh, recommendations for which software to use, so I won't do that. You can have, there's free software out there, there's mid-range software like this that's 50 or $60, and there's professional software that is hundreds of dollars, like Adobe or something like that. So there's something out there for everyone. Uh, I'm not going to talk through the controls and commands of VideoPad because that's not what this video is about. So you're just going to watch me do it basically, so I put my video together. So um, I'm going to find where the cool stuff starts happening. So I'm going to play it through. I just get some shots how I would do this video. Stand by. Right, that's me starting. Let's trim that up. Save it. That's 6th of the 6th of the 18th. That's the first one today. So let's just blast that out. Uh, what the devil have I just done? Get this right. Do, 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 do. So that's our first scene. I think that's a good scene. It's a static camera on a moving background. Uh, we're going to want to fade in of sorts. Uh, come on, brain. So we're going to fade in sound. A good seconds worth of fade in. I'm going to fade in the video as well. So a good seconds worth of fade in. Let's try that out. Yep, pretty happy with that. Uh, what happens next? A uh, little bit of cockpit footage, two seconds. Try and keep the cockpit footage the same length as the static ca external camera. Okay. Uh, what have we got next? We've got, a, we've got the Brazilian woman. A little bit longer, so than three, two seconds, people can look at the picture. It's pretty good. Okay. Next, we've got a whip right over. There, that's starting about there. So, do that. Ow. Plenty of afterburner sound there, that's what we like. Let's go and add in um, just a little extra sp sound spike there. Uh, I always edit, the most time goes to, uh, is spent on the audio of my videos, audio, even though YouTube completely wrecks it. Um, audio compresses it and just makes it horrible 
but I like to go through and adjust all the peaks and dynamics of the videos, of people's voices, of the jet sounds. Um, if you heard the original copies, they sound really good on my hard drive, but never mind, it's the best we've got. Uh, okay. Got another one of these. Two seconds. I don't want to be much longer than two seconds. It's not a particularly interesting shot, I don't think. But when they're going this far. Okay, we've got another panning camera. It's going to be something like that. Let's watch that. Barely see it. It's moving so fast. Really hard one to film, that is, and try to keep the camera smooth. Uh, let's put a, another dynamic spike in there. Ow! You want it to really blow the speakers up. I just want to contrast moving shots with static shots. So, it's, uh, another static camera. Let's try that. Two seconds. And that's going to be contrasted. Whoops. Contrasted with the cockpit. I uh, want about two seconds or so. And we've got another moving camera. So. That we're going to leave to ring because that's a really nice backdrop. It would have been a good ending sequence, I would. Video, so they kind of really like that. Okay, let's do this kind of feature backdrop shot. Don't want to run that to the end. I want, I want um, about there. Kind of whip over really fast and then a pow over that shoulder like that. Okay. This is going to be a difficult one to get, I imagine. Let's try that. Wow. Bam! Let's get our spike in there. Don't forget your spike. You want to keep your sound as dynamic as possible so the loud things are loud, the quiet things are quiet. It's hard to do when you're dealing with jets, but suck it up. This little boat beauty. It's a great shot that is. Back. Don't whip back for too long. You just want to whip back and as soon as you get that head back like that. That wants to be cut there. The head back there, that was a mistake, but never mind. This big shot. Not too sure about this shot now, but so nothing. Uh, with a small replay like this, you can go back and refilm the replay loads of times. In a GR movie, something big, uh, you, you only get one shot at it because the mission was three hours long or so, and you've only got three hours to go through it. Basically, um, you can't, you know, go through it three hours again and again and again. Otherwise, you're going to take nine hours. What was that horrible sound I just heard? It's okay. Yep. There, up the Khalifa. I don't want to get lost around the no, side of the tower. So there was a cock up here. So that's the best I'm going to get. I shot there. Now, where is my aircraft? Winding back, winding back. There is that shadow. It's beautiful. Shadows are getting much, much better in DCS. Not quite there yet, but almost perfect. Now, get your spike in. Come on, get it in. Bosh. Attic. One more shot. Oh, we're over time. We are over time. We are over time. Tiny bit. One and a half seconds. Leading to our finale, which is our zoom shot, which is always one in there, and there it is. And you always want to s adjust this so it starts zooming in just as the scene starts. So you don't want any jagged static and then moving into zoom. It'll look horrible. There you go. So like that. Much more professional. And the camera's waggled all over the place. But there's nothing we can do about that now. So I think we'll end it before the waggle. Because the waggle was a bit rubbish. That there. And that'll go into fade. So we'll fade that out. Let's fade out with a full second and see how that looks. Meh, good enough. Um, and fade out with a second. Uh, I'm just going to boost that sound up a little bit, actually. Up you go, little monkey. Posh. 
Uh, so the only thing is now we are over time and this happens with every single GR vid I do they all end up being two or three hours long so you have to go and do what we call the cut so that's before you do anything you save it before you do the cut and we've got to decide what we can take away and this is this is, this is the, the actual video editing basically deciding what you can keep and what you get rid of so let's go too much cockpit get rid of some cockpit That can end there. That can end there. That can end there. Had a camera wiggle at the end there. Look, do you see that? Let's try that. Look. No, it's okay. That can end there. I already tell that cop big footage is too long. Wanna keep that? Wanna keep that? Wanna keep that? That was a little bit too long, that static camera, so that's. No, the zoom shot doesn't work, I don't like it. I'm going to fade out from here. Still too long. God, 30 seconds is too long. We should have done this differently, shouldn't we? Come on, guys. Suck it up. Suck it up. Go right, again. And you can see why it takes so long to do the big videos now, of course. Ah! We have to do this on an hour-long video with 500 clips. It takes forever. Anyway, stop the Slightly shorter, slightly shorter, slightly shorter, slightly shorter. I think we can cut just the beginning bit off. The camera's a bit jaggy at the beginning. Like that. Better produce there. Produce there. Produce there. Less in more of the out this in please plenty of the out oh what was that that camera did a weird thing there look they dipped down don't like that getting rid of it there Let's try that I think it'll work. The sound's a bit weird with that sound cutting out, so what we're going to do, I think, is just drag that sound out a little more. I kind of like, uh, by a second, fade it out. See if that works a bit nicer. What can I go? hear something there? What can I hear? Thought I could hear something. Yep, so that's just a nasty bit of sound there, let's try that. Still getting it. Where is that sound? Right. Autism kicking in now. That's clean. Ah. There, you hear that? Something we don't like in there. Let's have rid of him. Oh, wow. There. Still not quite there. There, finally. Still 35 seconds. Right, we're going to have to get rid of the scene. Uh, rah. Now we're going to shorten this. Didn't want to, but we've got to. Put them all down. I don't want to get them rid of any of the scenes. I like them all too much. 
Right, we've got two seconds to go to gain. Big shot, we're going to have to go slow down. Again. I'm going to get rid of this scene. I never liked this one particularly much. Camera's too jerky. Okay, well, half a second over. I think we can live with that. Right, that's it. That is our scene. Let's just uh, run that through again. In fact, it's going to take any time to render, so why don't we just render it? We'll put it out as my. Um, we'll put it even upload it as my one, but we won't put it in the competition. Uh, killer bit. So whenever you get to do a video, you get to output it at different kilobits. The higher the kilobits per second, the better quality the video is. I do it at 10 kilobits per second because. It's a pretty lame ass uh, video output, but because I generate so many hours of video per day, it would be impossible to do any higher. You can do higher, better quality, 25, 40. However, we got to remember that's a lot of data per second, and a lot of people's modems around or internet around the world still can't handle that. You know, we get people watching from everywhere. Not everywhere has got super fast broadband. So I still do recommend having the 10,000 uh, for the time being until all of the world's fully caught up. Uh, untitled, why not? That, that should take all of a few seconds. Pal, that's it done. Over to D drive. Rare, wrong place. Two. Uh, let's get rid of Squiddle and that. And let's go and have a look at him, shall we? Ready? Brace yourselves for amazingness. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty crap, but you get the idea. Right, anyway, that's all I can think of saying for now, so I hope that helps, and um, otherwise, good luck with the competition, and see you later.